Yeah, the rugby game was, uh, wasn't quite what I expected. Uh, very unusual, but very innovative. A great way of, um, I suppose, passing the time while you're going for a pee. I'm on the leaderboard. Didn't last as long as I you know, thought I'd last, but uh, I'm up there and I'm pleased to just get a, get a result and get a score. But it's a very innovative way of, uh, of you know, getting you know, involved in the rugby and, of course, a bet safe as well. You could get extra points on the length of your time. Thank you. Uh, I think you should get extra points for the length of the time that you go for a pee. The shorter you go, the lower points. The longer you go, the better points you get. You thought I was going to say something I'm very else. glad you finished that sentence. Uh, tougher than, than dancing on ice? Tougher than dancing on ice, was it? Peeing into the, uh, into the urinals to get a score? No, I think that's probably the, one of the most unusual things that, and toughest things I've ever had to do. Who do you think would uh, be the top scorer in, in our game from the England camp? Top scorer in this game, I think, from the current team, I'm going to say, I think George Ford wouldn't last that long. I kind of think that uh, Jonathan Joseph would probably be the best at this. Um, in an old school, in my era, someone like Brian Moore would, or Jason Leonard actually, after a couple of drinks, would probably spend a long time down at the urinals, working out which is the ladies and which is the men's. Well, the good thing is you can go onto the website Captive Media and find out where in the country you can play this game. Um, it's, it's going to be all over the country, in Liverpool, Glasgow, all sorts of places, so there'll be one near you. So get to your urinal and have a play.